everybody. Steve Spangler is here today. We're getting ready for one of our favorite events at Nine News, which draws thousands at Coors Field. It started with 200, they thought, and then all of a sudden, so 2009 was a lot of fun. If, if our viewers missed it, they should take a look at some uh, some footage from 2009. You see our geysers it started with? It was down in the field. It was this intimate little crowd thing. And they came down and we actually found out how tall the geysers would go. And we plucked kids from there. Kathy Sabin is the extraordinaire. I am just her warm-up act because she's going to talk about the science of weather. She was caught in a cloud. But I have one that's bigger for her this year. See that face shield? I have a whole bodysuit for her this year, which I Excellent. think should be a lot of fun. Excellent. And then, which is always the case uh, with uh, weather and science, you try to involve the crowd. And so in 2009, we had these things called wind bags. You remember those? Yes, How I many do. breaths does it take? Well, the Guinness record that we won, the Guinness World Record that we won, was how uh, how quickly all those people in the stands could get those blown up. Did it in under two minutes. We had solar bags that were out there that were uh, about 50 feet in, in length and three feet in diameter or so, and they would float just with the power of, uh, of the sun. So some pretty amazing things that, uh, that happened, and, and we didn't want to repeat everything that was going on. See that beautiful weather there in yeah. 2009? Probably yeah. not going to happen in 2011. That's no. the situation. We're worried about the forecast. We are, but you know what? If you're coming out to see Weather and Science Day, wear a poncho. Science is not for sissies. You and I know that. You have burn <laughs> oh, yeah. marks, oh, so yes, you're, you're just fine. Still recovering. But, but can I tell you, I had a little preview because I've kind of told you that we've got some new things for this year. So on Friday, we, we got a little glimpse of what's going to happen, and we have it on uh, on video for you. So take a look okay. at this. Okay, all right. Here, watch. Uh -huh. But this is nothing in comparison to the smoke ring launcher that my friends let me borrow. Watch this. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh. Is it fun? Oh my gosh. So this launcher will blow smoke oh rings that are nine feet in diameter. It's blown to me by a company called Collie McVoy, who actually used it to sell submarine sandwiches, believe it or not, with the world's largest cannon air blaster. So in the back end of it, you can see this huge parachute, and we've trusted it to Brian because he is the Vortex Ring Launcher Master. It's a title. All right, so watch this. He pulls back this parachute material hooked onto the bungees. This huge volume of air that it lets go. Ready? Three, two, one. That's what it looks like when we get that giant vortex ring on the other side. Massive. Oh, gee whiz. That was fun. Oh, my gosh. Oh, look at that. Fast moving air that blasts out of the cannon that gives you this vortex ring. It's this huge pop of air. Okay. That was it. This is gonna look awesome at Coors Field. All right, we've got a great day. We'll see you on Wednesday at Weather and Science Day. It's my job to get the big, huge vortex cannon down to Coors Field. I think it'll be good, all right? So here we go. Let's have to drive slow. <laughs> it doesn't even hook. The Mini Cooper will not carry the vortex. You know That's what? amazing. All right, so people gotta come down. So if there's a little rain, it's fine. Come down, get put some ponchos on. Get over yourself and come down There's anyway. about 12,000 people who are coming down. Remember oh, our launchers last time? Yes, this, I do. We're gonna test to see if physics or chemistry is better. Here, watch this. This is, oh! gosh, isn't that a beautiful <laughs> one? Isn't that gorgeous? We were so, actually shooting limes into the outfield. Yes, we can shoot a lime into the outfield. So that's, oh. a, isn't that just the most amazingly cool thing? Duck, that's, Kim, duck. Kim, duck, are you okay? Is I am. Good? It All right, startled good. Me. And then 10,000 people get these boom whackers. See this? So we are going to have this amazing sound with all these different sounds. Hear these? This is a teacher's dream to give these to kids and then put them on a bus and send them back to school with all the kids doing this. Weather is Science fine. Day, Wednesday, May 11th from 1030 to 1120. Tickets still available. Steve, thank you. I know you'll have a great time. Come down. Yeah, it's going to be fine. Yeah, it's fine.